All right, so in this video, we're going to discuss a theorem related to bounded sequences. Um, the theorem says that every convergent sequence is bounded. Um, so in other words, if the limit as n goes to infinity of a n is equal to L, and L is some finite value, right? L is less than infinity. Then the sequence a n is bounded. Right? That's what it says. Uh, now, be careful. Uh, this does not say that every bounded sequence is convergent. It says every s convergent sequence is bounded. So you got to be careful. Those are two different statements. One is true, one is false. This one is true, and let me show you why. Um, we'll actually prove this. So let's suppose that the limit as n goes to infinity of a n is equal to L. Okay. Um, now, let's think about the, the definition of convergence, right? Definition says for every epsilon, I can choose a capital N so that for every little n bigger than that capital N, the difference between a n and L will be less than epsilon. So I can choose any epsilon because I know this limit exists. So if I take epsilon equal to 1, there has to be some capital N such that the absolute value of a n minus l is less than 1 for all n bigger than or equal to big N. Now, another way to rewrite this is to say, well, that means that this difference is between minus 1 and 1. And if I add l to everything, that means that minus 1 plus l so less than a n is less than 1 plus l, right? Or So a n is between l plus 1 and l minus 1, OK? Uh, but only, only for those values of n that are bigger than or equal to this capital N, right? What about the ones that came before? Well, the ones that came before are a finite list, right? So basically what we do is we're going to let big M be the maximum of all the numbers a1, a2, a3, and so on, down to a, let's say, n. Maybe you want to go n minus 1 if you want, but it's fine. Let's leave it in. And also, we throw in l plus 1. And we can let little m be the minimum of a1, a2, a3, down to an, and then l minus 1, right? And so essentially that's it. You, if, if we take you know, any term in the sequence, any an in the sequence, um, well, then it has to be less than or equal to the biggest of these numbers if it's, you know, so if it's one of those terms, it has to be less than or equal to the one of these, right? Whichever one of those is biggest. And if we take an an for little n bigger than this capital N, well, then we know that an has to be smaller than L plus 1, right? So whichever one of these numbers is biggest, that's the upper bound. Similarly, whichever one of these numbers is smallest is, is going to be the lower bound. Um, so we know that an has to be in between for each value of n. And that proves the theorem. OK, so every convergent sequence has a bound. We've just demonstrated it. Um, but not every bounded sequence converges, right? A um, good example of that is you just take, take like the sequence minus 1 to the n. It's bounded, right? It's always between minus 1 and 1, but it goes back and forth forever. It never comes, settles down to a limit. Um, so there are bounded sequences that don't converge. We can add one more condition that does guarantee convergence, and that's what we're going to talk about in the next video.